Hi, welcome to Startup Show San Diego, a TV show about startup companies. I'm your host, Tony Boucher, and we're here during Startup Week. Currently, we are at our HQ at WeWork Cowork, and today we have founder and chairman of CyberTech and CEO of Next Robotics, Darren Anderson. Hey, how are you? Good to see you again. Thank you for being on the show today. Yeah, thanks for having me. So, Darren, you've been building communities for such a long time. Why San Diego, and where did it all begin? You know, uh, looking back, I think um, I was focusing, in a way, on a place that millennials could come together and work. The thing that's interesting is I didn't know that's what I was doing. Um, the truth is I was thinking about my son and daughter who were getting ready to go to college, and I was thinking about where are they going to work, live, and play when they come out. And I got to thinking about a, a vibrant San Diego as a place where young people could come together and kind of form their career and do new and interesting things. Wow, that's incredible. So how long have you been really building communities in San Diego? Probably 10 years or so. I actually started with cybersecurity. So I was with an organization at the time. We wanted to bring together thought leadership around cybersecurity. And I learned a lot about how to bring people together. We brought together city, county, state, federal government, um, the law enforcement community, public and, and private academic groups. So there's a lot of learning in there just about community building itself. Wow, that, and along with building community, I hear you've started an incubator. How's that going right now? Yeah, good. So um, one of the things we did about six years ago was started a incubator then called uh, CyberHive. And we were focused on building new businesses with ideas um, for cybersecurity. Now, what we've learned is that there's a lot of different uh, technical communities in San Diego, so we've grown along with that, kind of branching out into what we call the Internet of Things, kind of the connection of your smart devices, the livables, drivables, and wearables that you actually use every day. And, and then most recently, we've been focused a lot on smart cities, so those technologies kind of make up our current incubator portfolio. And while working with this incubator, is there a, a company or a person who you've worked with and they've had really positive results? Yeah, you know, we've seen about uh, 40 of our companies come out with funding um, wow. just over the last, I'm just sort of quoting over the last three years, and that's been, you know, uh, someone getting that first seed level funding of 50 or $100,000, all the way up to, I think, our largest funding company was about $17 million, a company called DB wow. Networks. And it's been, you know, in a lot of emerging technologies, so uh, we've had two companies that got funded around drones, uh, blockchain technology, 3D printing. Uh, we also have started an entrepreneur entrepreneur in residence program and that brings together a cohort of 10 to 12 companies for example in smart cities and then they kind of work collaboratively together to kind of push themselves forward. Wow so in this community San Diego especially we have a lot of very strong companies but they're not big enough where they start to isolate each other so they do come together in what some call convergence mm. so can you tell me a little bit more about that? Yeah you know this is a uh, a sort of a vision and a philosophy that's not mine. There's a lot of smart people, I think, that have thought this through, is innovation occurs, you know, where two things of sometimes of dissimilar nature come together. Like, that's where the magic happens. So there's probably no better community, not only in, this, you know, the United States, but in the world that represents this kind of convergence as we have in San Diego. You have so many strong communities. Biotech, which kind of leads our community. Uh, Cybertech. Uh, uh, um, telephone and telecom, all these things are exploding together in whole new fields and areas of technology, devices, and things that we use every day. So now that this is all happening in San Diego right now, it's very exciting, and you're going to keep moving forward with it. So how do you see the future of uh, San Diego and what's to come? So San Diego, in my view, um, will be noted in the next decade um, as one of the top technological cities with innovation, I believe, on the planet. I think we are hurtling ourselves through good management of the strong technology communities that we have, through our principles of driving that and developing that through convergence. I think that San Diego um, emerges as a top city, vis-a-vis uh, -vis places like uh, Dubai, Shanghai, Stockholm. San Diego is going to be on that list. So you're a community better builder. How is it that people can get involved in this? I think you've got to find a passion, you know, like a community is just that. There's so many things to do in a community, right? Like you can carry the water in a community. You can build the water, you know, system in a community. You can drink the water, right? There's, there's everyone participates in a community in different ways. And 
from different aspects of what they do. So one day you drink the water, the other day you dig the well, right? So you've got to find a place that resonates with your passion and your skill set and actually you know, bring that to whatever it is that you decide to do. Very nice. And then lastly, just tell me a little bit about what you're doing with Next Robotics. Yeah, so Next Robotics was a company that formed up in CyberTech, uh, one of our startups. I think that they have one of the most um, uh, compelling and innovative uh, uh, product strategies, which is to make a robotic platform intelligent, right? So we've added um, intelligence using uh, IoT and other smart sensors that can actually, uh, for example, ride a perimeter, um, do a lot of things in an automated fashion, but very intelligently collect information, which is then turned into usable and functional decision making. So the, ro the robot itself becomes intelligent and it can actually make decisions on its own and, um, and actually can be controlled by whoever you know, is, is using the platform. Wow, that is incredible. And uh, for people like me and others who are interested in this, where do they go to find out more? Uh, well, you can find out about us at uh, cybertech.org, O-R-G, and uh, www.nextrobotics.com, and that's nxtrobotics.com. Oh, man. Darren. Hey, great to see you again. Thank you so much Thanks for being on the show. Thanks for having me. Thank you for all that you do, and thank you guys for watching. See you next time. Thank you.